Good morning students. Welcome back to the learning of English. In the last video, we solved, learned and comprehended the exercises of the chapter on the desert. In this exercise, we will be taking up listening skill activity, which is number four. I hope you remember the last listening skill video in which the importance of listening was taught. In this video, we will take up yet another listening skill activity. The name of this activity is the photograph. So I would want you to take out your English course book again. Please take your English course book. As you all know, I will be reading out the passage twice. You need to listen very carefully and attempt the questions. This listening skill activity is from chapter number 11, Kites. It is on page number 68. So I have taken up the listening skill which is there in the chapter 11, Kites. In this chapter, on page number 74, we have listening and speaking. We will be doing the listening activity that is exercise D1. In this exercise, as you can see, they are showing us a photograph. So the name of the activity is the photograph. The instruction says, one day, Tina invites her friend, Surbi, to her house and shows her a group photograph. Tina points to each person in the photograph and describes him or her. Listen to Tina's description and identify the people in a copy of that photograph shown below. So the instruction tells us that you will listen to the Tina's description that I will be reading out twice. And from that, you have to identify whose description is it from this photograph that is shown in your book. Make sure to listen carefully so that you can identify each person's description properly. I will be reading the passage for the first time. So take your pencils and eraser and be ready. This photo was taken when we stayed in Dehradun during the summer holidays. All these are my playmates. This is Vishal. 
He is a great fan of Batman and he imitates Batman well. This friend of mine, Zubeda, used to be sick most of the time. She would rarely play with us. But she would always watch us play. She likes to read books. I think she has read all storybooks in the world. This is Sophie. She loves to eat all the time. She is always munching something or the other. This is Garima. She is the tallest among us friends. She is a gymnast. Didn't I introduce Navya to you at the science exhibition last month? This is her. She is very fond of music. Look at Debu. He always fights with other boys in his school. Once his principal called his parents and told them that he could come to school only if he stopped fighting. Can you guess where I am in this photograph? No? I am right behind the camera clicking the photo. So here I finished to read the first paragraph to you and I hope you listened carefully. I hope many of you would have been able to identify the people in this photo according to the description that I mentioned. The paragraph was about the description that Tina gave to her friend Surbi. She was explaining to her about each person in this photograph. I will read the passage one more time and you need to listen to it again carefully. The ones who could identify the names can recheck their work and the ones who were not able to can again listen to the passage very carefully and try and find out the person in the photograph according to the description that I read. So again, please keep your pencils ready. You can draw a straight line outside the frame of the photograph and write the name there near the line. 
So each character, each person in the photograph can be identified properly by you. So with the pencil, you can just draw lines and write their names so that it becomes easy for you to pinpoint. Now I will be reading the passage one more time. Please listen to the names carefully. This conversation is between Tina and her friend Surbhi. Surbhi has come to her house. Tina shows her a group photograph. Tina points to each person in the photograph and describes them. Let us find out according to the description and identify the person in this photograph shown below. This photo was taken when we stayed in Dehradun during the summer holidays. All these are my playmates. This is Vishal. He is a great fan of Batman and he imitates Batman well. This friend of mine is Zubeda. She used to be sick most of the time. She would rarely play with us. But she would always watch us play. She likes to read books. I think she has read all storybooks in the world. This is Sophie. She loves to eat all the time. She is always munching something or the other. This is Garima. She is the tallest among us friends. She is a gymnast. Didn't I introduce Navya to you at the science exhibition last month? This is her. She is very fond of music. Look at Debu. He always fights with other boys in the school. Once his principal called his parents and told them that he could come to school only if he stopped fighting. Can you guess where I am in this photograph? No. I am right behind the camera clicking the photograph. So here students, I finish reading the passage the second time. I think by now you all will be able, you would have been able to mark each and every person along with their names.
and I hope the description and the identity matches with each. So now let us find the answers. You can now recheck your work. Let's see how much of your listening skill was correct. So here we go with the answers. The way I have marked, you can mark the same way. Check the spellings along with the answers too. So let us check the answer. I start from the left and then we move towards the right, naming each person in the photograph. The first boy from the left is Vishal. As we read his description, Vishal likes Batman a lot. If you observe his t-shirt, you can see the picture of a Batman over there. The second girl is Ubeda. She looks thin. She remains sick. She loves to read books. Therefore, she has spectacles. She is a serious kind of a person. See the spelling of Zubeda? Z-U-P-E-I-D-A Zubeda. The third person in the photograph from the left side is Debu. As we had read that Debu fights a lot with everyone in the school. So he had to be well built. And he was told by the principal not to fight. So that is Debu in the middle. The next girl in the purple frock is Navya. Navya is the girl about whom Tina had told to Surbi. They had met in the science exhibition and she loves music. So that is Navya. N-A-V-Y-A. Next to Navya is Sophie. Sophie loves to eat and you can see that in the photograph. She has a cookie in her hand. So she keeps on munching all the time. S-O-P-H-I-E, Sophie. And now in the photograph, the last girl is Garima. Garima's description was that she was the tallest among the people who are there in the photograph. She is a gymnast. So you could easily identify Garima. The spelling of her name is G-A-R-I-M-A, -A, Garima. So these are the answers for your listening skill. And Tina is the person who is clicking this photograph. So Tina is behind the camera. So this is the photograph of Tina and her friends. I hope your answers were correct. The ones who could not identify can look or again listen to the passage and try once more. So, I hope you liked this new kind of listening skill about the photograph. The same way you can pick up a photograph, show it describing to your parents and play a short game at home. You could describe each character and they could identify the family members in the photograph. 
It would be fun activity at home. Thank you for watching the learning video. You can subscribe to my channel on the YouTube. You can follow it so that you can watch the playlist and find all the videos in it. Stay safe and keep learning.